hello people hello 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 welcome back to my channel good to see you good to be here again well if you're a new subscriber if this is the first time you're hearing me welcome on board welcome to this wonderful group of people i hope you're gonna find my content very helpful to you in one way or the other and if you've been a subscriber and you're returning Thank you very much for being a subscriber and welcome back. So today, um, so before I go into this topic today, so if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe by clicking the notification bell. And you can also, um, if you want to get more content, also you want to do the same. And please feel free to leave me a, con a comment. I do welcome suggestions on topics that I can talk about. So please, please leave your comments in the comment section below. And I assure you, I go through each and every one of them because your comments mean a lot to me. So thank you and let's get into it. So today I want to touch on a topic. I've been getting I've been getting a few questions on it, so I decided to, you know, really uh, go into it, not in details, but just to give you like a, a a few points or maybe a few sentences. Okay, well let's get into it. So I want to talk about joy, right? So the people who get to ask you know they ask how come you have so much joy how come you're so happy you know i get that from everyone and sometimes i see people too that are filled with so much joy and it's intoxicating for me i will speak on my own experience um specifically now you know joy they say is the greater joy you have the greater pain you would have experienced in your past one way or the other you know, there are times that there will be moments where you feel like, you know, you want to throw in the towel and there, there was no way out and you felt stuck, right? I'm sure that some of us have felt that way. But for me, um, I've always had this, you know, this light at the end of the tunnel attitude, even though I couldn't see the tunnel. But for some reason, I always saw that glimmer of light. And the, the more I, you know, went through whatever it is, whatever challenge I was going through, I began to see the light really forming at the end of the tunnel. And what I can say is joy is not the absence of pain. It is the journey. It's the process itself. Because you have to find joy in the little things in life, even when you're going through that pain. So it is a trickle down effect. It is as a result of you enjoying the small moments, even when you're going through that pain, even when you're going through that disappointment, and then realizing that, oh, I didn't, so I survived this. I didn't think I was going to survive it. So for me, that's, that's really what it is. No one really has all the answers, to be honest. Everybody's answer will differ. But for me, I've always had hope, let me put it that way, that things were going to get better. And, you know, sometimes we say, oh, things are going to get better. But in in the true sense of it, it's not that your expectations will be met. It's not like, oh, oh, you know, whatever it is that you were expecting or whatever you're going to get or whatever it is you wanted, you're going to get. No, it's more to do with whatever you need. Even through the journey of life, you're going to start to learn how to slow down and take in every blessing that comes your way you become very intentional about it because i tell you there have been moments where i didn't feel like moving forward i i felt so low that i i didn't even want to wake up in the morning you know so it's not the absence joy is not the absence of struggles it doesn't mean that automatically your all your problems disappear it means that in spite of your troubles, in spite of that pain that you're experiencing, in spite of that disappointment, you are standing strong and you are walking through it because you want to see, you know, what's on the other side of this pain. You're pressing forward to ensure that you make it to the other side. You know, it's like a traffic jam. That's I can compare it to that. It's like a traffic jam, you know. 
you're in a traffic jam and you're wondering what's going on. Why is there a traffic jam? What's going on? You don't get out of your car and abandon your car in the middle of the road because there's a traffic jam, right? You wait and you crawl as the traffic crawls. And then all of a sudden, you get to uh, uh, the place where the traffic is really building up and you realize maybe it was just people peering into what happened on the side of the road or maybe there was something in the middle of the road that they were trying to clear off or maybe there was an accident, right? That's what it feels like. So, but while you're waiting in that traffic, you have your music going, right? You have, you know, you're maybe on the phone having a conversation with someone you love. It could be family, it could be friends, it could be anything. But just doing the little joyful things while the traffic moves. That's the comparison that comes to me right now. So I hope that this has been helpful. I'm going to leave it here for now. But please feel free to leave me a comment. And um, thank you very much for being here again. And I will see you on my next one. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. Ciao.